Black-legged deer ticks prefer forested areas with plenty of shade and fallen logs. They wait on the vegetation until an animal host passes by, and then they grab on. To systematically collect ticks in order to estimate their density, set up a transect and mark every 10 meters. Ideally, a team would work together to collect ticks from a transect 1,000 meters long. This way, researchers can compare the density of ticks at different locations based on the number found. The higher the density of ticks, the higher the risk to people and animals. Ticks can be collected by dragging a cloth across the ground. Stop every 10 meters to check both sides of the drag for ticks. Try to make sure all parts of the drag touch the ground and vegetation. These drags have strips that fall in between the plants and help reach ticks on the leaf litter. Trails can also be dragged as well as downed logs. Store ticks in at least 70% alcohol to preserve them for later identification and testing for pathogens. Nymphs are extremely tiny and hard to notice, so be sure to check your body for these tiny ticks after you spend time in tick habitat. Adult female black-legged ticks are more noticeable with a black and red body. Both of these life stages have the ability to transmit pathogens to people that cause disease. A passive way to collect ticks is to set up a CO2 trap. Ticks are attracted to the carbon dioxide and will get stuck on the tape. Don't forget to wear light-colored clothing so it is easy to spot ticks crawling on your clothes. And use a CDC-recommended insect repellent too.